Hey, how you doing, everybody? KC2 ZMA Marco. And uh, what I'll be talking about today is DV Mega. Uh, here's the, where it came into. So this is um, this is the dual band one, the VHF UHF, and this is what the board looks like. So this is the DV Mega board right here. Um, I'm going to be showing you every, every all the pieces. Uh, I'm not using a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a BlueStack Micro Plus. I'll show you that. So this is the DV Mega board. This is what actually it looks like. Show you close up right there. That yellow wire. I'm going to explain why I actually put that yellow wire there. I'll explain why I did that. So that is the DV Mega. This right here is the blue stack board. Okay. What this does is it pairs with your Android phone um, via Bluetooth and it uses your Android's Wi Fi to get to um, either DMR, D Star, or Fusion, System Fusion. This is interesting, I just figured it out this out here. This pipes this is probably one of these chips are is probably the um more likely the um Bluetooth chip. This looks like the antenna for the blue for the Bluetooth. So this is what actually looks like the blue stack board. And this right here, it's all in pieces. This is the case. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to install, put this all together, actually. Um, so if you look at this, my screen over here, which is, if you just Google DV Mega, right? It's the first link right here. DV Mega dot A U R I A dot N L is the official website. Or one of the official websites that I know of where you can get the DV Mega board. Okay, so that's two different products. The DV Mega is different than the BlueStack. What I have is the BlueStack Micro Plus. All right, this is the website. You just Google that, go to this website right here. That's the actual board that I actually showed you. Now, the box, what I showed you, the actual box, which looks like this. You got the other piece too. All right, both of those boards scan sandwich together and go in this box right here. Um, and it's around here. This is what it actually looks like right here when it's complete. All right, here's the little antenna that I got also. So this wire right here that I actually soldered on there. Um, so you're able to update the firmware on the DV Mega. For some reason, I don't know why you have to do that, but according to instructions, DV Mega, if you go to software, uh, actually downloads. Okay, so I actually have this model. The model doesn't really show a picture here. If you go always scroll way to the bottom. This right here, I don't have it though. I don't have one of these guys. Is the sing is the um, single band? I don't know if it's a UHF or VHF. I think it's the UHF model. I have the dual band VHF and UHF. If you see here, Blue DV MM DVM host supports Pi based support for D Star Fusion DMR mode, single band and dual band radio. This is the firmware you have to actually download. Okay, the X loader, the program that actually uploads the firmware to your from your PC to the DV Mega. All right, and the manual here. I want to go to the manual and show you something here at the manual. Now, if you go down here. You see, this is the single band um, mega board. 
see this pin right here and all the way to this pin over here you have to actually solder if you look at this board my board here which is the dual band it's actually the same pin it's the basically all in the bottom the second pin in the bottom one the top here you actually have to solder it right to this capacitor or what this is over here I'm not sure to that point right there all right because if you go so that's showing the single band one if you go a little bit more down it shows you actually I went too far this is the dual band one that's right so that pin right there which if you look at here side to side is the pin to the top and then a pin to the bottom now that wire is used for updating the firmware without using an Arduino I think if you don't do it this way which it won't work with the blue stack um, it just won't work that way uh, so I'm going to show you the next shot I'm going to show you uh, when I put all this stuff together alright guys I'm going to show you now I'm going to put all this together okay so this is the DV mega board and here's the blue stack board all right the pins the GIO I um, can't remember exactly the name of the pins here but it's the same basic pins that actually will go over a Raspberry Pi but doesn't use the whole Raspberry Pi uh, board pin boards but on the uh, blue stack board here it's exactly the same pins as the DV mega board so that actually so I'm gonna finally assemble this and not take it apart again so you sandwich those two together like that and I'm going to show you the, the uh, box just like right off the website let's see if I could do this and I drift away from the camera All right. there's a little button right here so all these little pieces come all these little pieces rack basically come with the um, with the case okay right here as you see it's a micro USB same basically the same port that looks like when you charge your Android phone uh, so that's it's the same same port there there's LEDs down here this is basically like an LED indicator to actually see the lights going yeah it's kind of a I'm kind of trying to shoot it with the uh, the camera here okay just like that I don't know if I get yeah, there we go I got it just like that okay and there's the button I believe this sh turns on and turns off uh, the Bluetooth I believe or turns on the uh, the micro USB port for power I'm not sure exactly what exactly the button does but I know let me see actually I can't remember but don't worry about it I'll tell you, give you more information about that I forgot to do one thing though there's like a little stub here that goes inside over here yeah so here's that little um that little stub over there with the screw on top over here uh, it's kinda not easy to get everything lined up kinda gotta get this thing in here the LED lights 
and then the, the switch in here. But take a look right in there. And uh, you just have to screw that in before you sandwich the two boards together. So this is the top right here. So once this goes in, I'm not taking it apart again. That's it. I think I took it apart too many times. I think this is a 3D like built box or so. So make sure that's all in. That's it. So that's it right here. So now the LEDs are over here. I'm not exactly sure what they all indicate. And then one indicates a uh, Bluetooth connection to the Android phone. Then you have another one over here, I believe, of power. This right here is for the antenna. So this is, I believe this is a dual band. It does, does both. I th I'm actually running on 440 though. Have this, I have it set up to on 440, on a 440 band. And that's it, that's it. I'm not taking this apart again. This is final. <laughs> so I know I have to have the button out. So this is what it looks like. Micro USB right here. What you actually will need to power this thing up. You know, any kind of world world worth or uh, even a battery pack or something like that. Even something like this. The power, you know, the power it on. That's all basically you will need. So you plug this in. You leave it, that's it. Now to update the firmware, for example, plug this USB to your computer. And I actually have done it already though. Done the firmware update on this. Um, but uh, if, when I do one, um, I actually, this is updated to the latest 3.14. Uh, I'll make another video um, once to get updated more and I'll show you how to do the firmware update in the, on this guy. And um, so that's basically what this, the blue stack with a DV mega board on there. I'll show you an operation. So here's my Galaxy S4 active phone. And um, this is not the phone that I actually use. Um, so I'm just using this phone actually for the blue stack <laughs> DV Mega. So if you go to the Play, um, uh, the Google Play Store, this is what the app looks like, blue DV. Just look for that. When you install it, the icon looks like this. Blue DV. The actual software that controls everything and do your settings and everything else looks just like this. Okay, I don't have anything running right now. So to run the BlueStack DV Mega, you'll need this thing running. The BlueStack with the with the DV Mega board inside and basically just have to get power basically just have to get power to the USB right here and obviously you'll need a radio so here's my ND380 and that's basically um, and of course um, Bluetooth turned on in the phone here and Wi-Fi so you, you'll need an internet connection obviously as well there to get to the networks um, so if you go over here, right, so this is the latest and the greatest, I believe, because I can't get updated from here. If you go to info, okay, it's 1.0.75, okay, and there's the uh, author of the uh, software. So um, if you go to setup. All right, you put your call sign, your DMR ID, and whatever information you want there. Um, enable APRS, I believe, or you want to disable it. And that's the frequency I'm using, 436-100. For DMR, uh, D-Star, DMR, and I believe Fusion, I have it set up the same. DMR Master, 3101. 
for my area here, it might vary for where the area you're at. Fusion frequency right there. Um, Q, uh, QTH locator, just put your grid square. That's basically what you need there. And those are just basically the basic settings that you need. And um, so the next video I'll make then, I'll have everything running. All right. And I'll show you how it works and see maybe you can make a contact um, with the device and I'll show you how everything is set up here.